15 months. Just like yeah. Are you, um, how many of your missionaries around you are like local people or at least Latinos? And then how many are Americans? About half and half. Like, it's almost always a gringo or a white person and a Latino. Oh, really? You're like, you're almost every companionship. And your trainer was and a Latino, right? Yeah, the other mirror is that guy. <laughs> <laughs> tested uh, your patience, yeah. huh? Grew some no, tolerance. I said oh, he, he yeah. tested your patience. My patience. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you. Kind of appreciate your friends a little bit more, the ones you didn't quite have as much patience with. You're like, oh, I would have taken them a hundred times over. He yeah. said something nice in his last letter to Caps, so Caps is loving it. Yes. <laughs> I I was thinking about it the other day. I was walking down the street, and I just, like, heard a mom, like, just screaming at her child, and I was like, I just felt bad for the child because, like, he didn't really do anything wrong. And I would, I just thought of, like, sometimes I'm like, Caps, like, go get me something now. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want him. I'm like, Caps, go get me a pop or something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Um, are you always going to have a Latino compa companion, probably? Mm, I bet I'll have probably one, maybe two gringos. Some people never have them. Like, half half the gringos here will, like, not, haven't had a, another gringo on their whole mission. Gotcha. But Elder Horsley, my main man, that I think I've sent pictures of me, with me and Elder Horsley. He's already had two. And he, he has the same time as me. Like... His trainer was Elder Schaefer. He just barely, he, he already left. He's in Lehigh now. He, he finished his mission. And then he had a, one Latino companion, and right now he's with another gringo. Hmm. Which is really weird. That's almost never happens. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but your new companion's good? Yeah. Mr. Head. Big Head. Head. Bench. Now. Oh, she's <laughs> a flog. <laughs> Noggin. <laughs> Noggin. Did you make fun of him in front of his face? <laughs> Does no. he not speak no, English? He's another room. Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't understand any English. None at all. No, he he understands like a little phrases. Gotcha. But that's all. Like, yeah, he doesn't understand it. Nestor lives here. And he understands English, mostly. He went on a mission to Chile. Hmm. And, well, he had a green opinion, like, all of his mission, so he learned English. So, how many missionaries are in this house right now with you? Me and, me and my comp. Oh, that's all? That's it. I see. Do you, guys, do you guys eat with members a lot? Every day. Every day? Do you ever cook your own food? Um... If I wanted to eat for dinner, no. If I want breakfast, yeah. This is our list of who we go eat lunch with. Each list is a week. Week, week, week. Wow. Wow. Today we ate with Familia, um, the Castro Rodriguez family. Good guys. How, how <laughs> many? So is your ward big? Is it like a branch? So this area is the smallest area in our mission. And are you the farthest north in your mission? Uh-uh. Jenna's crying. I'm in <laughs> she like gets uh, crying all the time when we talk or think about you, Jer. Aw. You can make him cry. <laughs> how how has your health been? I know you got sick a little bit, but not so much lately or so, yeah, I got super, super, super sick that one time when I had to go to the hospital, and I couldn't, like, stand up. Mm. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and I didn't know where, was, where I was, and I had, like, an IV in me. That was... Oh, freaky. That was a terrible few days. Mm. And... But after that, like, been pretty healthy. So you feel... My, I, my eyes... I feel like I'm going blind in my left eye a little bit more than... Why? Like, my... I feel like my left eye is just like getting more and more bad. 
Hmm. Maybe yeah. when you get I home, we look, look into like LASIK. Ex now, I used to wear a trade off contacts every other day and glasses every other day. But I wear my contacts more now because my glasses, my, like the prescription is not the best. Hmm. Do you have doctors and stuff there that the missionaries know about that you could kind of get another prescription or something? I don't know. Don't know. Oh. You have a lot. Of, you have a year's worth of contacts, though. Yeah, and that will last a few years. Yeah, it could. Yeah. I've only gone through two pairs. No, I've gone through three pairs, and I'm a bit already a quarter way done with the mission. So. Yeah. So you might last you. So um, it's summer there, right? so hot <laughs> yeah i pull up i have so. lima peru on my iphone weather that i'll flip through and every now and then i'll just see it's like 76 all the time but the thing is like 76 it's I, hot like it's not but it's like florida it's so humid oh, I how much snow is outside. It, did you see how much snow is out there yeah it's so out much there. Snow. yeah and um our Christmas tree, do you see that behind us? Jen, turn it. I do. Aww. That looks like a good tree. It was one of our best years, I think. Yeah? Yep. Wow. That's awesome. What did you guys get for Christmas? You and you. Jenna got a new phone. Brand new phone. First ever. Now all of us who are what? Who wander are lost. That's a sweet thing. Is that a six or a seven or a six, six, six S. S. Six S. Six S. And Cap, what'd you get? I got a laptop, boy. What <laughs> in the world? Are you kidding? <laughs> you little buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Has his own laptop? Yeah. Because he's such a brainiac. He needs to store his memory somewhere. He made the geography be at school. Did I tell you that? Like he, yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw that. Uh, and then I saw. I, had to, I think Dad sent me a picture. Got second place. Mm -hmm. Smarty pants. Ooh, the geography did. That's the best. <laughs> Preston. Love the geography. Preston got a drone. Um, me, your dad, and Josie went in and got him a, like a full-on fan, like a what is it, a Mavic it's Pro? It's a, it's a pretty legit one. It's like legit. Like he could go make movies with it. Yeah. Like, it's better than the one at work. Like, we have one that we fly all the time for our work videos. It's as good or better than that. It follows you around. It cost a thousand bucks. Yeah. No, no it did not. What did you say? Three thousand. Oh, uh, no, no. It didn't cost that much. No, a thousand. But, but it's the one that kind of follows you around <laughs> and doesn't wreck into something unless it's really broken, you it's know? It's a smart one. Yeah, it's a smart one. It's awesome. Yeah. So, wow. did you open your rest? So you opened your stockings right when you got them. Did the package not say "Don't open till Christmas" on the outside? Oh, that guy. He's the nicest guy, Raphael. But you're supposed to write on that one "Don't open till Christmas," and then the other one you were supposed to get had in it like the enzyme and Leohona conference talks. It had emergency. It had shavers. It has the Tresners. Kyle Tresner bought every all your missionary group. <laughs> I know a tie. So every fast Sunday you're supposed to wear the tie. That Kyle Aww. gave you, and all the missionaries in your group across the world will be wearing right. that tie. <laughs> and then um, Ashley wrote you letters. I've been seeing Ashley a lot because I go pick up Andrew at Susanna's. He's been hanging out at Susanna's all the time, and Ashley gives me hugs. <laughs> I know. This caps is putting the moves. He's getting saucy. <laughs> Seventh grade. Josie, she's Josie. here. Hey, Yay. Josie. What's up? Look at this, too. Hold your this hand. One second. Hey, I don't call your door for you. Oh. It's almost because you What are you guys talking about so far? Is he calling? Is he using a phone? I know a laptop. Oh, man. It's a, they just put a little key on it, though. Sorry. We're almost out of charge here. Christmas presents. Oh, we're going to lose a battery. I got to pee my pants. I'll put you right here for a sec. Oh, it needs to charge the battery. Mm-hmm. Whose computer is it? Who's I think it's in a member's home. It's a member's computer? I think so. A member's laptop. 
in the universal. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I like your hair. Thanks. I like you. I like you. I like you. I like, you. <laughs> I like your hair. Thanks. Are you wearing your cute yeah, Christmas bum? Oh, you have a bum too? Oh. And it's pink, of course. Pink. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, like I want you, for you to be in charge of this. I'm going to let Preston take this spot to have a little bit of face time. You can't record on this thing. Okay, I think I'm charging. No. Are you yep. charging your computer? Whose computer is it? DJ, come take Preston's computer first. Sergios. Sergios. Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Our recent cover. <laughs> no. Well, Sergio. Oh, that's nice. It's the pot. Yeah. PJ, dude, look at those. Look at that hair. Look at that, dude. Look, it's it's long. Oh my god. Isn't that nuts? It's been yeah, like a uh, year and a since half since I've cut it. What's that? It's been a year and a half since I've cut it. Since you went and sold last? Yeah, a year and a half. Dude. Holy Gnarly, man. Dude, that did mom is... send you some squatches in your stocking? Oh. oh yeah, I did. Did you like your stocking? You got a squatch? Squatches in my stocking? <laughs> yeah, in your stocking. No, no squatch. What's squatch? Did, did someone squatch steal stick. them? Oh. Did someone open up your stocking? Like you totally had a whole bunch of meat sticks and these bum no meat sticks. It's in my first pack. What? There's meat sticks in my first package. Well, yeah, in your stocking. No, he's saying there was someone in his first package. Like stocking. the first package I ever got in October. Oh, mm. maybe so. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I was those. back then. I was enjoying some squatch. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that, and I kept thinking of. Uh, of our camping trip a few days before I left. Yeah, man, that was top notch. We only ate like five squatches. <laughs> you ate so many squatches, and then I munched on a big old brook. True, that did happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that did happen. <laughs> oh, Brother, you're getting stuff. tan. Yeah, you are. I'm getting tan? Yeah. He, he's just always tan, especially this summer. He was super tan. Yeah, well, you're still tan, and we're all white. Nasty. <laughs> uh, you guys are pretty white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they're all pretty pale. <laughs> <laughs> You're not used to seeing white people, huh? Well, yeah, I'm not used to seeing white people, so I can't, I can't talk. So when you <laughs> there's, there's no white people who live here. Yeah. Like, so when you walk around the neighborhood and stuff, are you? Do you feel safe? Do you feel out of place, or do you feel pretty much at home now? Feel at home. Yeah. It. There's yeah. Like, there's just people, like, peeing in the streets all the time. <laughs> people walking around in underwear. Uh, that's sweet. People breastfeed in church. <laughs> that's what you do. Just, third world problems, right? It's just, it's just normal now. <laughs> you just get feel, accustomed to it. But you feel like it's a safe, safe place? You don't feel like it's, like, dangerous? Well... Like with this laptop, we had to carry it from Sergio's house to here, which was only like a five minute walk. But they told me that like if this if it's not like not disguised in like a backpack or some or something, like there's like that COC will get it'll get stolen. Good chance. So. Wow. Um, that's gnarly. So have you ever had any bad problems, like any run-ins with anybody or? I haven't, like, haven't, I haven't gotten robbed. I've had people, like, drunk people ask me, ask me for money a lot of times. And then I just, like, try to weasel my way out of the situation. <laughs> Doesn't your companion kind of step in and talk local stuff, you know? Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm. We just, we just don't try to talk to try to talk to drunk people because one they waste our time and two they're dangerous more dangerous like because even if like a drunk person comes up crying to you and they're like man i want to change or something and then we're like oh yeah we'll get down your address and stuff and we'll come by and then like the next day either they have no clue what just happened <laughs> they're like who are you guys <laughs> 
It's like, get out of here. What are you? Are you... <laughs> I gave you my number? I must have been drunk. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So basically, like, it, I feel like mean doing this, but like, whenever like drunk people like try to shake your hand or everything, you just like act like they don't exist and you just walk by them. And on like on Sunday nights, like tonight, especially because it's Christmas too, like it's like like The Walking Dead, like there's just drunk people walking around everywhere. <laughs> it's like, like The Walking people. Dead. You know? <laughs> DJ, you know, like in high school when um, like the Mexican or the Latinos always had like their their speakers in the hallway and like they're just like playing music. Yeah, that's like. It's here on Sundays. <laughs> like, really? the, you're super cool if you can play your music like the loudest <laughs> you possibly can. <laughs> on Sundays, everybody's out on their front porch drinking beer, and they're yeah. playing like music at the max that their speaker will ever go in. It just sounds terrible, but it's <laughs> just how it is. Like, that's just that's the culture. Yeah. Drinking some cervezas. Is that is that is that how you say? Cervezas. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I moved to a cervezas. <laughs> <laughs> Elvio, you want cervezas? <laughs> That's funny. So do you have enough money? Like, you haven't even used your Visa card at all. Uh, last Monday, I tried to withdraw. Uh -huh. and sometimes I forget stupid words in English. <laughs> um, withdraw money. And it didn't work, but I think it was because the ATM wasn't working. Because the guy before me, like two guys that went in before me, they both looked like left frustrated. And so I think it like didn't work for them either. So I think I'll just try next tomorrow. Do you ever? Nope, try I don't. I don't need to though. Like I don't know why I would. I would take out money because I don't really need it. You have enough, like, to go to the store and buy stamps? And there, as of this month, next month, in January, they're giving us 100 soles extra per month, so. Wow. I, and I already don't, and I, like, already can't spend it all anyways. Is that enough they give for... us 100 soles a month, which accounts to, like, a hundred and fifty dollars per month, nice. but that's a lot of diet Pepsi. But things here, like a sole here, is like a sole or like a dollar back there. So even though you can trade a dollar for three three point three soles, you can buy like a Pepsi for two soles, just like you could buy a Pepsi for two dollars. Or mm. Is that is what I'm saying making sense? Mm -hmm. So yeah. is everything more expensive? It's basically or less? like you have five hundred bucks every month. Oh. Wow. And you, we get free we get free lunch every day because we eat at different members' houses every single day. And so nice. some I don't know how other people run out of money so fast because like I live like a king. <laughs> yeah. Are you finding yeah. enough snacks and like fun stuff to snack on and eat and whatever? Like diet we Pepsi and Snickers bars or whatever. I finally found Diet Pepsi. <laughs> nice. There's a store called Tombo, which is like, it's like an American gas station because there are no, like, it's really hard to find a gas station around here. Really? And most of the gas stations don't have, like, little stores like that. So, yeah, Tombo is, like, the coolest thing around here, basically. It's just like a gas station. And then there's Totus, which is just like a supermarket that's normal. Mm -hmm. And I went to my first time last week, and no, two weeks ago, and found peanut butter. Like, I think I put it in my email. Yeah. Found peanut butter, found Diet Pepsi, found all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was sweet. that. Oh, I found V8. Yeah, I saw which you is... drinking a V8 in your picture. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. I was so excited to see VA. My comp was like, what in the world are you freaking out about, dude? Because <laughs> I was so excited because nobody eats vegetables here. Really? Except, like, a little bit, like, in there. They'll put, like, two little slices of carrots 
in like one of our meals and nothing else and then fruits i'm allergic to half of them because they always eat mangoes papaya um watermelon Oh, wow. Bananas, they eat tons of bananas. <laughs> and I can't eat any of those. You can't have so, juice. And, oh, they flipping don't have juice. That thing bugged me really bad when I came here. Is that, like, they sell, like, Arizona kind of stuff. Like, it's, like, 15% juice. But it's mostly just sugar and water. But everybody thinks it's juice, and they just drink it like it's juice. And I'm like, this is just going to kill you. It's just like pop, basically. It's just a bunch of sugar water. Yeah. So, I was like, I'm going to die. Because all I eat is rice, chicken, Diet Pepsi, and cereal every morning. They have cookies and cream Oreos, which you would already oh. think Oreos are cookies and cream. But it's different, and it's so good. <laughs> so, I, I eat a ton of those. And salty papa, which is just like sausage, like pepperonis, on top of French fries with mayo and and they like mayo down there, don't they? That's like my dinner every day. It costs like three souls, which is like a buck. And you just get mayo on toast. That's the French fries and and sausage. You don't look like you've gained any weight. Are you losing weight? I love yeah. Well, I, do I look skinny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I got back, to, when I got out of the ACM and I saw, or the NTC, and like the first time I saw like my companions and stuff, they were like, "Dude, you got so much skinnier." And yeah, so I got a lot of skinnier like here in the face and in my arms and stuff. Because uh, if I'm being honest, I, I don't work out at all. Push ups for you. I just. Like, the first couple weeks, I did push-ups every morning, and then I was just like, no. no. <laughs> I just, it's much better to just eat cereal and read the Book of Mormon instead of <laughs> push-ups every morning. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, the... what I, that's my exercise. <laughs> and the... so, I've gotten fatter in the gut huh. a lot. Oh, I've, I've, I've never sit-ups. experienced it. Let's see it. I, like, I look in the mirror, and I can like, see my love handles, and I'm like, I've never known what that's like until now. That's true. You can get him if you wanted. And what I've decided, like I started, I decided this right when I stopped working out. I was like, I'm just gonna start working out again when I have six months left. Hey, so I, I can come back like Jansen did, like all buff and stuff. Hey, are you? Um, what is your address in Lima, or are you in a different kind of place? Are you in Independencia? Independencia? Yeah, that. No. no. I'm in a city called Comas. How do you spell it? C O M A S. Comas, Peru? Si, Comas, Peru. There's a garbage truck that comes by every morning. The garbage truck comes by every morning. And they have a song that like that just blasts from the garbage truck. And uh, it goes. <laughs> and it just, it's just this stuff in Spanish, and they play the same song every morning, and I lived here for four months, and so I've heard this, like, the most annoying cat, like, catchphrase kind of song for every morning for four months, and it just screams comas, it, it, it translates to, like, comas should be clean, if we show our efforts, we can, we can get it. <laughs> and it just says that phrase like over and over and over and over. From the garbage truck? The garbage truck. Oh, I bet you the garbage truck man hates his job, hates his life. Um, yeah. Like an ice cream truck driver. <laughs> when you when you have P days and stuff, do you get to go outside your area in districts? Uh. Um, we usually stay inside our zone. We used to go to Chili's every month. Mm. Well, as you guys know, because I was really excited about that. <laughs> that was the best. When I was suffering in like the first six weeks of my mission, or the six, first six weeks of being here in the field, I'll be honest, those six weeks were terrible. Yeah. And I was, and when they told me that we got to go to Chili's, like, oh, that made life so good. You did but, a good job faking and lying those six weeks away of like, 
What's that? You said you did a good job faking it that those six weeks weren't totally okay. miserable. What? It was pretty terrible. One, because, like, I was super chunky, which means, like, I kind of got, like, a culture shock. Because in the CCM, there's no culture shock because it's just normal. You're in, like, a gated, it's, like, literally walled in. You don't have, like, any idea of, like, what, what crew really is. And you're surrounded by white people. But when I got here, I was like, whoa, this is Peru. And if I'm being honest, it's like, it's a lot different. It's a lot poorer. And there's, like, their customs I just wasn't used to. And then I wasn't with, like, I had the best group of missionaries in the CCM. Like, we were, it kind of felt just like my friend group back home. Like, just some great guys, and, like, but then I got here, and I, like, didn't have any of them, and I just had my trainer, Elder Ramirez, who was terrible. <laughs> I, was just, I was just miserable, and I didn't speak any Spanish. It was miserable. Alone. But now life's, life's great. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Life's good. That's hey, right. Grandma tried to put some money in your bank account because she wanted you to go do something with it for Christmas, like, to some poor family and give them something. Did you, did she write you about that? She did write me about it. I couldn't get the money out because, I can't yeah. get the money out, but, but you know that she put some in there for that. I bought a panetone yesterday for Gustavo and his family. You bought a what? A panetone. What is that? It's like, um, it's like a huge muffin that's like um, muffin. this big. <laughs> and... They eat it for Christmas. They all eat it for Christmas. That's like the only thing they eat for these like few days. And it has like little raisins inside of it. And it's yeah. expensive. Like Do you want me to keep going? They cost like 20, 30 soles. Which for people here is a lot. And he's Gustavo, that poor guy. <laughs> you for Gustavo? I talked about him. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. But what? Was he a convert I, or a member? Yeah, my first convert. First baptism. Yeah. His, like, oh, that poor guy. His work, he he works in moto. Like, he drives a moto. You guys know what a moto is? Like it's a like taxi? a, a three-wheeled, oh, it's like no. a motorcycle, but people, like, form it into, like, a little car kind little of thing. personal taxi. Yeah. yeah. So he's a taxi anyway, driver? That around all day, <laughs> and he's like a little taxi guy. And, well, his, his moto broke, and... His ex-wife like took his kids and like he didn't he hasn't seen them for a while and he makes she makes them not go to school and sell gum on the side of the street and he got like super super, super sick for like two weeks he's just like he's just terrible and um so yeah we bought and he, he has like no money so we bought him a panic tone. Yesterday, and he was really excited. He was a good. He's happy about that. That's cool. Did a member yeah. baptize him, or did you or your companion? Or well, we're not allowed to baptize people. What? Oh, why? Because it's like a new rule. <coughs> why came up with to give more opportunities to members to baptize? Oh, I see. That will to exercise their responsibilities as priesthood holders. Is that a church-wide or a Peru rule? That's just here. Just there. Just here. But Ramirez baptized him because he didn't want to follow that rule. Oh, really? Guillermo yeah. didn't want to do that? No, another, another reason he was hard, huh? That guy. <laughs> that guy. It's like, it was like Michael Scott. Like, having him as your boss, kind of. <laughs> oh. Like, you know that Michael Scott's just, like, he's just a tart. <laughs> but you have to follow him because he's your boss. Like, he was my trainer, and so it was just, like, whatever he says goes. So what did you do? I have to, like, all right, we're going here, I guess. Bless <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, so do you feel like you're pretty street smart over there, or do you kind of run into something and you're like, whoops, shouldn't have done that? 
Yeah, pretty street smart. Like, I feel like I've wised up a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. The world's not impenetrable to you anymore? Not scared of the big open world? No. Just living life here in the middle of... This place is so big. There's so many people. Like, when I read that, like, the Valley of Lemus, like half the, the size of a like, Salt Lake Valley, but there's ten times as many people. I was like, how is that possible? But it's because like there's no such thing as a yard. So, and everybody's house is just like like a hundred square feet. So, so. And they stack so many people in these houses, and so that's how. There's so many people living in such a small place. Is, is your area just all up on the hillside, so you're just tramping up and down hills all day? Uh-huh. Yeah, getting some nice points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have the smallest area in the mission, so it's only five streets up. Wow. Like five blocks. And not even like big blocks, like... Just like how... How can I explain this? Like, like the direction system in Utah, like 330 south, like 100, like 100 markers, 100 yeah. meters. I don't even know what you call it. Yeah. Like that is one street, like one block. Wow. And we only have five of those by eight. That's like, so like a well, ward practically, or a couple of wards. Yeah. No, it's really like the size of our ward. Wow. I could walk. To, I could walk to one end of my. Like one corner to the other corner, like the long way, probably 12 minutes. Dang. That's crazy. Wow. That's so small. There's just so many people right there. So many people. Thousands. <laughs> wow. That's oh nuts. It's like, there's, most, most houses are three stories. Most, and then, like, if they're not, they're two stories, so... And they just pack everybody in there. There's, there's never a shortage of people. <laughs> and it looks really like brown and dirty. And dusty and dirty. So brown. When was the last time you saw it? Well, tree? like it's crazy because there's so much dust. Like <laughs> if you don't sweep like the floor every week, like you could you will like see the dust on the floor. And I I have to like wipe down my desk with a wet rag every single day because if not the dust will collect and it'll like make all my scriptures all brown and stuff do you have windows make all this like if i you can already see it i don't know yeah. if you can see it in the camera but it's brown because i wiped it this morning and then dust is already falling on my desk yeah. do you have windows in your apartment Are yeah they my desk shut? is right by the window that doesn't help either Oh, oh. Who does your laundry? How do you do your laundry? Don't this guy, um, Joji, washes all our clothes in this half of the mission. For all the missionaries? There, yeah, there's this half and the San Juan half. And for this half, he comes by every P day, picks up everybody's clothes and, and washes them, then returns them on Tuesday. And he does a decent job. It's not as good as the washer and dryer back there, but the washers are pretty good. Hmm. Nice. Yep. What was the craziest thing you've eaten there? Pig skin was pretty gross. Pig skin like, was gross? Skin, there's like the skin of a pig. It's just fat and chewy. <laughs> was it fried? Like crispy or anything? Like bacon? Uh-uh. <laughs> it was soft, chewy. Like somebody just boiled it and put it in the soup. <laughs> and also what's really gross is eggs that are like underdeveloped so they haven't come out of the chicken yet so they don't have a shell or anything and they're all veiny and stuff like you could, op you could open a hen I see people cut open hens every day just on like on the side of the road because like here there's just market like the market isn't there's like no in store in inside it's just people with like their tables selling stuff wow. like this guy will have his table selling like 
sponges and cleaning supplies and then ne next to him will be a guy cutting open chickens <laughs> next to him will be a guy selling the headphones it's just like super random and clustered and so I, I just see people like cutting up chickens all day cutting up their heads and stuff and you cut open and you see like the eggs that are forming and they are like all veiny and stuff yeah. and those are really gross Dang. have you eaten a guinea pig uh -uh. No guinea pigs in that area then? So, there are. A member tried to feed me one, and without being mean, I denied it. <laughs> like, she was like, do you want to try this? And I'm like, no. And then she's like, try it, try it. And I'm like, I, I told you I wasn't going to try it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> At first, I ate everything because I heard that it was like super, super, super rude to not eat everything. And it is rude to not eat everything, especially with older people, but it's not that big of a deal. So if something's really gross, I won't eat it. Like chicken's feet. Some people put chicken's feet in my soup. Like, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> They'd sneak it in, it in there. I'm not going to eat it. I don't even know how I would eat a chicken's foot. Like, just like stuck on it and chew it. I, I don't know. <laughs> Are the yeah. mem are the members really? Do they just love American missionaries, or missionaries yeah. in general? Yeah, do they? they do. <laughs> they love them. Yeah. If you eat at a member's house every day, you just cycle through and go to the same places all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know, I know every single person that I would. How many are there? There, at, there's like a hundred and like. 30 active people, 140 maybe. We have like 90 or 100 people come to church every week. So that's like 20 families or 30 families? That's pretty big. That's actually yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have like, there's like 400 people in this ward, 300 people. There's a lot of less actives here in Peru. Like a ton of less actives. Mm. Like, I don't. Did you guys already know that? I don't know if that, like, you guys already knew it, like, like, in Latin America, there's, like, just a ton of, like, less actives. Like, that's just, mm -hmm. just don't, like, really care that much. It's just like, yeah. So they got baptized, but then they just kind it's of... It's like, one thing, like, that Larry Lawrence told me before he came, he's like, oh, Jared's going to Peru where they baptize, they, like, they have a line in the baptismal font, and some of them actually show up to church the next week. Or something. <laughs> Oh, Larry, so look, like, at, look at the bright side of everything, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some people that are just like, oh, the best. They're just like members of gold. Oh, that's good. Investigadores de Oro, call them. Gold <laughs> investigators. Our recent caller, Ileana, that I've talked about a lot, mm -hmm. she is an investigador de Oro. <laughs> She's Oh man, I'm gonna remember her for a while. Her family. And then we have a Luis. I've talked about Luis. He's really recent. He's getting baptized this Saturday. For and he'll he'll get confirmed on the New Year. Cool. That's awesome. Um, he's also another gold investigator. <laughs> like in the church today on on uh, Christmas. Nobody here comes to church on Christmas. Really? He came and he was super excited. He comes to everything. Uh, like, he, I think I mentioned it in my email, he was assisting church in a different different ward called Lamar, because that's where his friend showed him to. And, like, he, he go, goes to all our three hours and all their three hours, and he's like, man, like, three hours of churches isn't enough. I just want more. And he's like, and then we have family home meetings on Mondays. And then we have the missionaries give us English class on Saturdays. And then there's an activity every Wednesday. I just need something churchy on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. Is he, like he, loved, is he married? He just, Does he have, how old is he? 28. So he's not married? Or he is? He, he was married. He has a kid. He's divorced. Okay. He's a good guy. Dude, did you have three hours of church today or just one? Just one. Same. Yep. Church-wide thing. 
Sure, like. Do you have to like give talks or spontaneously do stuff? Do they call in the missionaries in church to do stuff all the time? Or? Um. Yeah, like I've only given one talk, and because if there's a spot like a spontaneous like oh somebody didn't show up today he has we have to ask the missionaries they always ask the senior companion which is him i i would feel pretty uncomfortable like because even like there's people that just have the gift of like they can just talk and talk and they have they like they can just do that but that's never been my thing no 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 that's talk, not my thing. Slowly. In English, I couldn't do that. In English, I couldn't be, like, called, like, just, like, last minute, hey, Jarrett, can you give this talk in sacrament meeting just for five minutes? I'd just be, like, I'd be screwed. <laughs> like, I'd just choke up and stuff. Hey, so. Hey, Jarrett, say hi to Lisa. Lisa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my so, but in baptisms, I they call me to give like ran like last minute like talks, the baptismal talks. The, every baptism that we've had, so I've had to like, what's the word? Uh, improv. Mm. Like, or last minute, the, like baptismal talks a lot. Why don't you get get pretty good at getting pretty good at it. Speak, t uh, tell us something in Spanish. Let's see how good you are. Like, what do you want to hear? I could just translate something. Say, hey, my name's Elder Hale. I want to teach you the gospel and baptize you next weekend. Seriously? Hola, me llamo Elder Hale. Quiero enseñarle y bautizarle la próxima semana, por favor. You're pretty good. Caps and Jenna are in, have the same teacher for Spanish. And she's terrible. She's terrible. They hate her. Really? Who is it? Miss Clough. She's new. She sucks. Really? Yeah, they don't Why? like her. But because she just doesn't know how to teach. All she does is yells at me. Um, she yelled at me for dabbing in her class and banned dabbing. So. <laughs> <She> banned it. <laughs> yeah, dear. <laughs> oh, but hey, Caps, tell him what Mr. What's my call it said. Who? Hanson? Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Hanson said Merry Christmas. Oh yeah. Told him uh, that he was doing it. Like, Hanson loves you. He's like, tell Jarrett Merry Christmas specifically. Uh -huh. Hanson loves you. <laughs> Doggone it. Well, Jarrett, did you have him with the first year he was teaching? No, he's been teaching uh, for a while. I don't. I think so. Yeah. Mm. Did Blackford say? Eighth grade year. I think that was his first year. Yeah, cause he's only he's been teaching for like. No, class seven years, right? Mm -hmm. I hope he's doing well. Brother Alan says hi. Uh, Brother John. Yep. Miss that guy. <laughs> yeah, he there's had a, a letter a, in your thing, too. I really want to get that package. I know. I don't know how to get, get a hold of... Someone just needs to get a hold of the Cusco um, missionary... Cusco's boys. Um, <laughs> home. Yeah. Cusco. 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 Uh, this is Hancock Mahogany. I would email the Cusco offices or call them or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I get that info. I'll I'll see if I can figure it out. Does, yeah. does have all your companions speak English or none of them do? I haven't had one. Like none of these guys in here speak English? There's um, well, I'm at a member's house right now. Oh. And he said that the um, member went on a mission. And one of them speaks English. He's a return missionary. He went to Chile. And he had all white companions. So he kind of speaks English. Like, he can understand almost everything I tell him. Mm. That's cool. Does your missionary companion, does he speak a little bit of English? No. no. He says phrases like, where do you want to go? Um, I don't know, just simple stuff, and just like random stuff, like... Oh, there's Grandma. Hey. Hey. Oh, hold on. There's, there's Grandma and Lisa. <laughs> and Gramps. Yeah. They, they, you gotta do this. Alright, there, there they are. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! How are we doing? Hey, hey, hey.
They just talked to Hannah a few hours ago, Jerry Bear. How's Hannah? Hey, love you. Okay, they're turn they're closing up. Yeah, love you. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh oh. There you go. Oh, they said they said Hannah was doing really well, and they talked with her for about an hour, and cried because they because Miss Hannah, we missed yeah. her. Wow. Crid, Crid says he misses you and he's crying because you're oh, on the Snapchat. I know. Uh, I did. I heard that guy's going on a mission. Yeah, he said he's leaving in January. I haven't talked oh. to him in a while though, Chris. Say hi to him. Does he? Say hi, Chris. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he misses you. Alright, I'll send it to him. He just lives around the corner from us. Yeah. Yeah, he can sure. Who? Have any of you heard from Drake? Friend, Jake Drake? Friend, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, here. He's fly fishing. Ever seen posts by him or anything? He did like a little fly fishing video. It was so, yeah. He's uh, always posting fly fishing. He sent me that. Oh. I commented on it and I said Jarrett would be proud of this video and then he's like, yeah. He's like, I miss that dude. Can you open videos when we, if we email them to you? See. Yeah. See. See. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stream a like a a link of something, can you? No. I don't know what that means. Like if I sent you like a Vimeo or a YouTube link to something, it you probably. Could... Link, yeah. Oh, you could do that. Okay. Like that. Send me the link of the the Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving okay. video, and that was oh that was great. Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah, so that if I make time. something, I could send it to you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sweet. That's cool. I'm. Yeah, that's sweet. I'll be. <laughs> so you, when you um, log on every week, you check your email through the internet, right? Through like Google or whatever. I yeah. know it's my LDS, but but you can access the web and look at YouTube videos or whatever. Yeah, because it's like an internet cafe. Okay. So. It's like I could get on anything I wanted to, I see. but I just go every week. I get there and just go straight to the missionary account, email president, read the weekly letter, and then I go on my LDS mail, say, hey, mom, dad, I'm on, and then I write my big letter, and then I write everybody else. Are there other missionaries or people that individually send you letters that you respond to as well? Mm -hmm. Like how many people? I write, it depends, like I write Landon like every other week-ish, Drake every other week-ish, um, Gunner sometimes, David every every week. <laughs> David's always got something funny to say. <laughs> uh, Mikkel sometimes. Yeah. Nice. What about Larry or Kyle, or do you talk to them at all, much? I, I emailed Kyle once, but he didn't email back. And I think it was because he didn't want to distract me. Yeah. I think he said he kind of said that one time in mission prep. He's like, I only want you guys to write your one big letter one time in your mission or something like that. Yeah. And then the CCM, I was just like, I want to write you, but he didn't write back, so. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then I print a few conference talks or some type of talks every every week. You just like print them out while you're there, so when you say I, I read this or I read that, you're searching, finding what you want. And uh -huh. did you get that big list from Uncle Tom that I sent you? So uh -huh. it will did be you send your, it to me that day? Yeah, so it's in your inbox, and it's just this big list of. It's kind of old because I think he sent it in 2015 or something. But it goes way back. It's like some classics of good talks. And it's Uncle Tommy's Fabulous. So. There's, oh, my favorite talks are 
Um, the one where Jeff Gerner Holland, it's an MTC devotional, and he's talking about, um, like, Peter being a fisherman for, like, all of his, I mean, being a disciple for all of his life after Christ died and he wanted to be a fisherman again. And he's like, Peter, do you love me? And it's just like, yo, oh, oh, well, it's the best. And then, have you guys watched, um, the atonement and missionary work yet? Yeah. I think I sent that one. Yeah, that's that awesome. one. Oh, that's like the best video I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, that's that amazing. is. I and I, I just love reading and watching mission uh, conference talks. Yeah. And stuff. Like that. I don't know if you ever you got to read that atonement, the atonement by Cleon Scousen's yeah. mom. Oh, I haven't yet. No, that's just I mean, your last one that you said. Yeah. Is it a talk or a book? What's that? Is it a talk or a book? It's a talk. Oh, that quote book you guys yeah. sent? That's yeah. nice. Is that good? Yeah, the like little missionary quote book or something. That was, that's nice. Yeah, the, that's did you just cute. open those this morning or did you open those back when you got the stockings? This morning I opened them. You did. Comp opened them. He's wearing his tie right now. Um, that you guys send them. Yeah, good. And you got videos, DVDs? Uh-huh. Can you watch those? They're just from the distribution center. Yeah, I, I can watch them, yeah. We we already have the testaments, but that's nice. Like, have it again. Yeah. And the restoration. That's a good one. I love that. Um, you should send what like else? The, you know the living gospel, like little animated... Bible videos that we always watched. Oh yeah, those are good. You should send them those. Those are good stuff. <laughs> yeah, good. the package that didn't get there had some Christmas music and a Christmas DVD, so maybe you'll get there by next Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when you asked me what I wanted in the package, and I was like, I don't really care, but like conference talks on CD, so I could play. But Oh, you didn't say on CD. No, but that came in the package that's lost. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but I There's got it. But I didn't get box? it on CD. But I, no, just copies of the Enzyme and the Liahona. So Spanish and English oh. and a couple of things back. But I didn't know you wanted CD. But we can do that. So, are you there? Yeah. Does your I, Does your CD? I tried to doubt. What? what? What's that? Did you, does your CD player and speaker that we sent you with work well? Yep. So you use the, it the volume time. doesn't work anymore. So it's just like it's stuck at one volume, which when I want to be quiet, mm. be loud. I don't know why it's broken, but yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Mm. Like the volume knob. On the speaker. But yeah, it works fine. So you need a new Like speaker? I can listen. Or it's the CD player. The CD player. I see. Yeah, go to some music. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, listening to conference talks would just be the best. All right. Well, because we'll get on that. Mm -hmm. so, Did you show them outside? Oh. When you got out of the car. What's that? I was just wondering what? if you saw all the snow. I did see all the snow. It dumped. Me and Cat like, and Mom are gonna good. sweat the gnar on Tuesday. Yeah, we are. Really? Jenna, Jenna yeah. Can't. I'm gonna go skiing at Sundance. You know, this is gonna go. You know, so Jenna fast. got her knee surgery, right? Yeah. How's that? Uh, it you it kills. That? It kills. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But you can Ouch. walk on it now. Worry about that. It's okay. No. No ski for you till next next season, huh? Yeah, for real, it sucks. Cause remember last year I wussed out. This is this is my knee. It's all swollen and. Doesn't look like a good time. Yeah. Doesn't look like a good time. Yeah, Christmas here is so much different. Like people, um, like wait till midnight and then they light off. Fireworks 
like nobody's business. Like it's so crazy. Like last night, I didn't. My calm told me like to not even try to go to bed at 10:30 because I just get wake, woken up at 11:30 because that's when I start. And then at midnight, it's like crazy. Like I've never seen anything like it because they're all they're all like the big fireworks, like the real deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And everybody has them, and everybody lights them off at 12. That's so and cool. And so I and I live on a hill, so I get to see over all of Lima, and I get to see tons of fireworks, like mm-hmm. all the way to the ocean, all the way to me, like just fire filled fireworks. Did you take a picture of it? I, yeah, I took pictures. That's sweet, man. So I'll you, send those tomorrow. You like that walk cool. out of your porch and you're on someone's roof, right? What's that? You can like walk out your door and you're on someone else's roof, right? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I'm on somebody's roof. Do you still have a yep. hole in your roof? Still have a hole in my roof. <laughs> Living in the same house. There's a pit bull downstairs that the, my first like few weeks like tried to kill me. Every Oh, I sent... Well, that's a different, the, the picture that I sent is a different dog that also tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah, now I have to, I had to protect my new comp from this dog that tried to kill him. <laughs> that was, Until he gets yeah, to just, know you, then he likes you? We live in, like, one of the sketchiest houses. Dang. Like, the next areas are allowed to live in. So, like, when we have work visits and, like, other comps come to my area, and they're like, you live here? And I'm like... This is so <laughs> like, oh. How close does the does the other companionship closest to you live? Like the oh the closest? Yeah. Um like a five minute walk. A couple blocks. A couple blocks, the sisters it's sister missionaries. Move yeah. the move the camera, you got sun all over your face. Kind of dish, no? Move yeah, move to, so you're out of the sun. Yeah, we'll get. There it is. There you go. Oh, I would say that we have to go, but my comp's still on it, so. Sweet. Hey, did you, so do you catch up on, like, current events and things? You know that, you know that Trump's going to be the president and all that? Yeah, I told him. Yeah, that. That's fun. But you know, <laughs> that, happens, that happens like in two weeks, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So do you not catch like American news at all or like in passing when people just talk about it randomly or you just don't even clue into it? Only about like the presidency was huge. Like everybody was watching that. Oh, okay. Um, but I haven't heard anything else. Like if anything is going on, I don't know about it. This whole iPhone 7 thing, I don't know what that looks like. Is this, it looks is the same as any this. different? Uh, it doesn't have a headphone jack. It's waterproof. Here, check it out. So the bottom is just that. Just the lightning cord. No headphone jack. And the, the camera's camera 4K video. Unless you're Josie's phone, then it has two cameras. Yeah, check, check this out. Josie's phone has two cameras. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're different lens millimeters. So one's a wide angle and one's a zoomed in one. Oh, wow. Isn't that nuts? And so hers is the big one. And But it's 100% waterproof. So... You can, yeah. That would have saved my life. Yeah. 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 When I fell in the pool and when it took a swim in Lake Powell. Yeah. <laughs> I've like tried to take videos of trout in the river and stuff. Mm. And then Dude, how are you taking care of my fish back there? <laughs> good? Pretty good. I, 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 I went to Deer Creek a few times and tried to... There's like a school of largemouth by this dock and I've tried to get them and I couldn't do it. No? But did catch a couple... That lake trout I sent you, that one was big. And then I haven't been on the river for like a month or so. It's snowy, so... Very that'd snowy. Be tough. Yeah, and I don't have waders or anything. Take you in winter because they don't want to waste all this energy getting food and stuff because it's super super cold. But, yeah. So they don't buy as much, but they still buy. Drake's still fishing every day. <laughs> yeah, I I would be up there if I had like waders that you know, but I don't. 
I carry. I used to carry only one picture around in my bag, like when people are like, "Oh, show me your family," because everybody talks about your family and stuff here. So like, when I when first get to know people, I show a picture of my family. Mm-hmm. One time, somebody said Caps look like Stuart Little. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally does. I think I said that in a, one of my <laughs> yeah. uh huh. but everybody talks about <laughs> in Juan Cayo, the city here, like that's like eight hours away. They always talk about ceviche made with trout. Ooh. Like, ceviche con trucha. Wait, is so, ceviche just like a, like, what is it? It's like raw fish, oh, yeah. lemons, lemons, tomatoes, onions. You we can't eat it all, here. Can't. We're not allowed to. Why, Why not? Because a missionary died, like, no, not died, got almost dead like a few years ago from eating ceviche because it's not safe here um it's got yeah it's not very fresh no nothing you gotta be careful here <laughs> people get sick a lot well, so do you, you, you do you can't drink water you can you gotta be careful at what zans you eat at it's crazy because like when people have poyadas it's like a fundraiser so they can get married or they can do something it, like when our investigators have poyadas, so they like make a bunch of chicken and they put it in a plastic bag, and then like us missionaries buy it to like support them, and then but we can't eat it until nine when cross sightings over, so we just put it in our apartment, and then they eat it after like seven hours of it just sitting out, and I'm like you can't eat that you're gonna you're gonna die. <laughs> Like, you can't just leave chicken out on the counter for seven hours. Yeah. But they and then, but then people here, oh, it's ridiculous. They do not drink cold pop if it's cold outside. They think that they will die. <laughs> like, my comp last night, no, yesterday when we were in our lunch appointment with his family, and he, they're talking about Juan, his, he's from Juan Cayo, and he's talking about it, and he's, it, it's like colder because it's part of like the Andes Mountains, and he's like, so if you drink a cold pop before like you're about to go to bed, oh yeah, we stay. Like yeah, you're you're toast. <laughs> like you're gonna wake, you're gonna die. You're gonna wake up super super sick. You have to go to the hospital. And it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that is not true. So whenever I have a cold and I'm drinking cold pop, they're all like. What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. What are, you, are you kidding yourself? Why do you drink pop when it, I'm skiing? It doesn't change anything, I promise. <laughs> wow. So, at, like, at lunch? Like, when, when I buy a pop, they're like, a lot of, or seen a lot of. So, like, cold or not cold? I'm like, why would I buy a warm pop? Like, <laughs> no. If in America you offered somebody a warm pop, somebody would be like, what do you, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> I would just, like, give it back, yeah. I'm not drinking anything unless it's way cold. Uh, yeah, I drink a lot of warm pop because people offer me warm pop. I don't like it, but you just gotta do it. So, yeah, do, you, do you drink bottled water then, or just pop on every meal? No, um, well, for meals with members, nobody drinks regular water. They always have aguita, which is just, usually it's just, like, le- like some type of lemonade, or chicha. Have you guys heard of chicha? Mm-hmm. I didn't. I I didn't either until I got here to Peru, and it's like all they drink. It's like a. It's made out of like purple corn. Purple corn. It's so good. Google chicha morada. It is so good. What does it taste Some like? a lot of gringos, a lot of white missionaries don't like it. Like half the half the guys in our zone don't like it, but oh. I love chicha morada. So is that, isn't it made with water though? So they or... they have to boil the water. Oh, they boil. Yeah. Okay. It looks like so the yeah. So Why even even the locals boil their water to drink it and stuff, huh? The only the only people that don't boil their water are like super super poor people. They can't afford to boil their water. And they just live with diarrhea all the time. Oh, they do. And they just get sick all, all the time. Yikes. Like, so is it? Some people that, I heard there's some people that like just think that diarrhea is just like, it's normal. Like they don't know what it's like not to have a solid poop. Oh. Do you ever, have you had diarrhea a few times? 
A lot. A lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I used to be a very regular guy, but I'm on a very tight schedule now. And so it's like <laughs> once a day, once every other day. It's, Ooh, it's ch- it. Crews change. He was like every he was like crazy. three times a day. Wow. Like and then throw in some diarrhea and it throws your whole system off, huh? Uh, and you pooped your pants once, right? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I live every day, every moment of every day with toilet paper in my pants. Between my butt cheeks. <laughs> little change? Every, it's just every minute of every day, it's just... Safety? just you, that's my life now. It's safety, <laughs> so you don't have a blowout. <laughs> Cause it's so hot here, and you're just sweating all the time, and I just don't want brown garments, so I just <laughs> That's so live funny. like that. Oh, it's a chafed life. <laughs> Changed life. <laughs> Does, is there toilet paper in other people's houses, or not? Yeah. I never go in other people's houses unless I have diarrhea, so I have to. And when there's not, well, yeah, I carry toilet paper in my a little bit in my bag because sometimes I learned the hard way that s- sometimes people don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> One time I, I learned hand. that the hard way. Oh. Yeah, some people don't have it. But everybody so has I indoor plumbing. Right? Just in case. Everybody has indoor plumbing. Everybody yep. has a toilet, so just maybe. Everybody. Yeah, I miss carpet. Mm. Carpet would be sweet. Is it all just tile there? Well, the only pl- place that I've ever seen carpet is the nursery in our church. Mm. That's carpet, and it's disgusting. Because <laughs> wow. do they even have vacuums? Because, like, what do you? How do you clean the carpet? They don't. You don't. No. That's the only place I've ever seen carpet here. I've, some people had like a little bit of patches of fake grass as carpet. There's like a rug. Huh. Really. Yeah. That's odd. Because there's no grass here. No. Well, places there's grass is little patches in our churches, like in the church yard. Wow. There'll be like a tiny patch. So like. Are there trees anywhere, or is it all just just buildings and dirt? There's very few trees, mm. and they're all like six feet tall. <laughs> so there's not really any wildlife. Well, they're tall than shots. A lot of spiders. Ah. Cockroaches. Nope. Ooh. Wildlife, as in a ton of stray dogs and stray cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can go outside and see two dogs wherever you are. You can always see dogs. What do, never, they, what do they like, eat? <coughs> what's that? What do they eat? Just trash? Just trash. Oh. They're always having their heads in like the trash that people put outside. Scary. They, uh, a lot of dogs try to bite you. <laughs> what do you do then? Just kick them? You just act like you have a rock in your hand and you try to throw it. They'll run away. Mostly. Unless they're really mad, and then they try to bite you, and then you have to, like, really kick at them, and, like, that doesn't <laughs> happen that many times. Only mm. a few times, but, yep. Wow. Did you actually experience an earthquake? Yeah. And was it I, shaky? Like, did your body go, whoa? Yeah. The, there was one, like, real earthquake. Like, where everybody had to, like, leave out of their houses because they were scared of, like, stuff falling to the ground. Yeah. Like, it was scary. Because they're like, just it was 11 at night, like, I was almost asleep. Like, I was, on the, I was on the verge of sleep, and then I just, like, felt everything moving. And then Ramirez was like, Ew, levante, vamos, vamos, vamos. <laughs> we had to, like, run out of the house. And I wasn't wearing shoes or anything, like... But that was, like, the only real, like, real scary earthquake. And then there's, like, tiny earthquakes that you could feel. But you don't worry about them. I felt like ten of those. Dang, that's so cool. Like, whoa, was that an earthquake? Yeah, and then you just continue on with the lesson or something. <laughs> the last one was two days, three days ago. That's crazy. Is it? Is your missionary? Is he your companion? Is he your senior? 
And how long has he been out again? He's been out here 22 months. Oh, okay. <laughs> he leaves in February. Dang. So, he's getting pretty chunky. He's ready to go. Do you think you'll move, get transferred areas, you? Yeah. Winter transfer is next. Three weeks. And you, do you, what do you expect? Don't know? I think, um, they might send me to the other side of the mission, San Juan. Or I'll just go to a different zone, like a different part of Comas or Independencia or San Felipe, which is pretty close, like 20 minutes away, 30 minutes away. And yeah, I'm excited for that. I've been in this same area all my missions. So. Do you think you'll see your missionary, the your companion off? He'll go home and then you'll get transferred or something? Uh, because he has, after these th th this three weeks, he has another six weeks, and one more change left. Oh. And so he has to train somebody in this area to know this area before he leaves. Mm -hmm. Unless President just wants to, like, cancel this area, which, yeah. So I'll leave this transfer probably so that another missionary can come in and he could show him the area. Hmm. For six, then he'll leave. Hmm. But it feels like he's like new, like like I've I've already had him as a companion for a half a change, but it just feels like I'm like still getting things started with him. Like time gets going by fast. Hmm. Yeah, these days that's good. I, once you have like. Six months, a year, like the last year just goes by super, super fast. Elder Schaefer said that his whole mission, like, if he didn't know that it was two years, he would he would have thought it was like eight months. Wow. Like, it's just that it goes by really fast. That's crazy. Well, you're working hard, and yeah. every day you get up, you work hard, and you're exhausted, yeah. and you go to bed, so... You're never, ever bored, ever, because you always have something to do, or if you're bored, you're a chambone, which means you're just disobedient, because you should be doing something and you're just not. <laughs> oh, Jenna, tell them what your new word is. Jenna's been going around saying... Duende. City. Duende? Say, what? Duende. It means goblin. What? Duende? Duende means goblin in Spanish. She didn't know that. So she'd go around saying, I lost my duende. And she thought that she'd heard that phrase. And I go, Jenna, duende is not like a Spanish word that anyone uses for anything. And I look it up, and it means goblin. And so now she thought that was funny. Never heard of it. And she says it all the time. And it's the family joke. Not joke. even the Halloween. No, <laughs> no. I just didn't know it. Lost my duende. Yep. What about ese? Like, hey, ese. Nobody says it, ese. Uh, Everybody says cholo. 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 Hey, Cholo, que pasa? Como va? Que tal, Cholo? Cholo, Cholo? Cholo means like gringo, like a white guy? What's it Cholo? Uh, everybody, like, people say Cholo for like anybody. Oh. It's just or, like dude or guy or what? Yeah, it's like dude or guy. But if you like call somebody a Cholo, like, if you're not saying it in a fun way, if you like go, hey, Cholo, like, that means something bad. <laughs> huh. That's funny. Interesting. But, which is weird to think about, like, how it's, so everybody says and also a bad word, but, yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. you just say, like, hey, el elder, cholo, vamos. It's just, like, hey, man. Or, pay. People say pay. It's like, bro. Hey, bro. Mm -hmm. Que tal, pay? Que tal, pay? Oh. That's cool. Was it hard to learn yeah. Spanish, or was it just pretty... Dude, it was so hard. The first six weeks, when I, I was like, really didn't know what was going on, and I was sitting in lessons, like, really wanting to know what's going on, but I couldn't keep up. Like, my mind was blowing up. I was like, what should I do? Should I try to, like, not focus? Should I try to focus? Should I try to focus on every single word? Should I try to focus on sentences? Like, I was overthinking everything, and, like, I... Oh, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> like, I thought leaving the MTC, I was like, oh, yeah. Spanish, like, I already know half of it. I'll be fluent in another six weeks. It was easy. 
but then I got here and people like they gave it to us so easy in FUC. Like they always like talk, hola, vamos a ir a la página 27. He, like, and I thought I was super cool because I can understand them. But then when you come out here and people don't have teeth and like they <laughs> are really old, so they, they have like really sca- scratchy voices and they talk at the speed of light. <laughs> like I couldn't understand anything. See, <laughs> but it just yeah, just like nodding your head. Ah oh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> you just walk away at that point, or what? It was it was hard to teach it, like to teach investigators according to their needs because I didn't I didn't know what their needs were. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. How fast do they talk now? Like, give us an example. Uh, I don't know. What do you want me to say? I. Like, I don't know what to say unless you... What do people tell usually me. say when you come up to them? Like, when we knock on a door, and a lot of them will say, Oh, disculpe, hermanitos, estamos ocupados ahora. No podemos dejarles a pasar. Por favor, disculpe. Tal vez en otro rato, cuando tenemos más tiempo. Something yeah. about time. And I don't have time to they talk also, to you. Oh, estamos muy ocupados. Oh, disculpe, hermano, va a salir. No está aquí ahora. Not something now. Not, what do they say? Something not now. What is that? Like, oh, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm sorry. Oh, he, he just left just like a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. A lot. They, I, get, I need to get a lot of liars that tell me that they're not there. Like... Se encuentra la mano Jose. Oh, disculpe, no está ahora. Ha salido. You can when see I know him on the couch in the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> his motor, his motor's right outside. Like I see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, que okay, tenga un buen día. <laughs> Vemos. If you need to go somewhere, do you get a bus pass or something, or you just catch one of those motos? We walk. Um. Well, the places we go to are. Usually, like yeah, just it's the small, zone, so he just walks. like the the stake building for our district meetings, yeah, or P days, and I just get a moto to the to the highway to the pista, and then we catch a combi, which is just a big van. The and you pay like fifty cents, and they have like it's like those twelve seater vans, yeah, like the van, kind of like that. I see. And there's just a bunch of random people seated in there. And then you just hop on, and they take you there, and you just stay. Baja Politecnico. Is that they, is that once a week you have district meeting? Yep, Tuesday mornings. Gotcha. So how far away is that store that you found that you like with the Pepsi? Totus or Tambo? Tambo is the gas station type place. Yeah. That is like a 10-minute walk. Or five minutes if we take a moto down to the highway to the pista. Nice. And then Kotus is like we would have to take a moto and then a combi and then a moto. And that would take like fifteen minutes. Like that's it's technically out of our mission. It's in the mission Lima West. But President gave us permission because it's so close to our zone that we can go there. Is your president so, cool and everything and like him and he's good? He's new. Yeah. I like him. Good. He is a lot different than the old president and a lot of missionaries have a lot of trouble with that. Hmm. How's he like, different? The old president just like made his like own rules kind of. And this president is really keeping like the preach my gospel rules. Like he's just following preach my gospel, like missionary work the way the Lord wants it basically. And a lot of mission, the old missionaries that have been here for like a year and a half, like I'm having a tough time like switch over to this new style of work. But I like this style of work better. It's it's the way the Lord wants it <laughs> more than the other way. So yeah, me and President get along really well. We have interviews every change. 
So I, and I see him, yeah, I see him every change, two times a change, go to the offices and I'll see him or something like that. Where is he from? Ogden. Okay. Where's the mission? Where's the mission home at? Um, it's a stake. It's a stake center in Taiwan. The studio is the name of it. How far away from you? Twenty minutes. So it's kind of far, so you don't go there very often. That's why when I send you packages, like, but from when I send it to when it lands in the mission home is like two days. Because it just gets on an airplane the next day and gets there. And then it takes like two or three weeks for you to get the package. Because it just depends on when you go there. Sometimes I wonder, like, what people are doing inside the mission office. Is like, what's the problem? Like, why isn't this so simple? Yeah. I feel like it should be just so simple. Like, you got a package. They get the package and they put it in the Catavaglio box. And my zone leaders will pick it up. And then they give it to me in a district meeting. I don't know why this isn't so simple. Yeah, because you have a district meeting every Tuesday, so it should just take one week to get to you, you know, because it just... It should, it should take two, because the zone leaders only have meetings with the president every two weeks. Uh-huh. So every two weeks, I would have a chance to get a package. Gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. yeah. Surprised your comp isn't, like, coming to kick you off or something. He doesn't have a scheduled time to talk to his family? No, he's he's not that obedient either. He's a lot more obedient than Ramirez, but huh. sometimes I just have to be like, hey, let's go now. Come on. Like, it's 3 o'clock, let's go, let's leave. Do you need to go? Um, Do you need to get cracking? One sec. <laughs> rough place to live, you know? Well, this is nice. I'm sure compared to his house. I told him five more. Alright. Okay. Five more minutes, senor! I feel terrible. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> An hour and 25 minutes? Oh. Uh, it's hit, yeah, it's hitting the you're, clock, huh? You're being a rebel. <laughs> you're being a Ramirez! Hey, I you gotta it. say hi to all your friends on Twitter and stuff. And Facebook. Just say something. But, oh, you're Snapchatting me? I'm just filming it. Uh, you should redo it because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Just say, hey everybody. Como esta, senor? Hey everybody. <laughs> hey world. Hey world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm uh, really awkward. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm like one of those really awkward missionaries. <laughs> okay. Just say you miss people. Hey, I miss all you guys in Utah. You guys enjoy the United States, the best country in the world. <laughs> no, that is, I shouldn't say that. That makes it sound like I don't like it here in Peru. It's great in Peru, huh? He'll splice the good things together for you. Okay. Got it. Let's get a picture of all of us in oh, Jared. Oh, true. I'm trying to like that one picture. You guys, well, you're, well, you're, well, you're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna get your picture 